Hey team, I hope you guys and gals are all doing well. Today's topic, I want to go over a very interesting topic a lot of runners are asking about, and that is the difference between a tempo run and a threshold run. Now, I know every athlete, every coach has their own viewpoint of this, and my answer to the difference between tempo running and threshold running, a lot of times we think they're the same, and they are somewhat close, but a tempo run is slightly below running at your anaerobic threshold so tempo running is still very it's it's a comfortably hard effort a tempo run is definitely going to still challenge you and it's and it's running at a higher percentage of your max heart rate getting closer to around 85 percent of your max heart rate whereas a threshold run is running at the point where you start to build up lactic acid in in your body and and getting to a point where you're running at at, a, at between 88 to around 92 percent of your maximum heart rate so a tempo run although it's still going to be very challenging for you especially when you're not in great shape even even a tempo run is going to be very hard when you're not in great racing shape anaerobic shape where you're not in that type of shape where you can run at a, a comfortably hard pace but you can't do it for very long. It's only for maybe 10, 15 minutes. Whereas when you're in great racing shape, you're in great anaerobic shape, not only in great physical and mental shape, you could do a tempo run for up to around an hour. Whereas a, a lactate threshold or a threshold run or anaerobic threshold running is the point where we're running at around 88 to 92% of our maximum heart rate. When you're, running at, when you're running at your lactate threshold, you're running at a point that you're running so intense that you can't clear that lactic acid faster that's building up. So usually at the very beginning when we're not in great shape, a, a lactate threshold run or an anaerobic threshold run might only be 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, whereas a tempo run, even when you're not in really phenomenal shape, you could do it for around 30 to 40 minutes. You can do it a little bit longer because again, you're running below that onset of lactate threshold or intensity. You're running at you know, tempo run, whereas a tempo run is more comfortably hard, a lactate threshold run or anaerobic threshold running is going to challenge you much more in terms of your physiology, in terms of your mental state. You're really going to be challenged when you're running at lactate threshold effort versus tempo run effort. Tempo runs are still going to be challenging. Um, they're still both very critical in terms of getting to a point where you can race at a more effective level. You know, aerobic running, when you're running very at a very low lactate accumulation in training, is gonna still build that endurance and that strength that you need, but it's the running at threshold effort, running for longer periods of time at a point where you're running at so, such an intense effort that you can't clear that lactic acid fat that's building up. The only way to improve that and improve your body's lactate tolerance is to run for longer periods of time at your tempo as well as your lactate threshold intensity and so it's very important to first focus on a long build up between four and eight weeks of easy relaxed aerobic running where you're running closer to around 60 to 65 percent of max heart rate you're able to run for several minutes even several hours uh, at very easy aerobic efforts that is key at first focusing on your aerobic foundation building your endurance burning fat, building that foundation of easy, relaxed mileage before you start focusing on your speed workouts, VO2 max training, i.e. speed workouts, um, or doing your anaerobic threshold running, okay? Now, I always talk about the world's top middle to long distance runners run around 35 to 40% of their weekly volume between around 88 to 80 to 92% of their maximum heart rate. So again, they're making it look easy for a reason. It's not just because they have great genetic talent. Of course, there are a lot of runners out there that do have a phenomenal capability to run at very high speeds and run for very long periods of time and accumulate just a small amount of lactic acid. So if you, if you those athletes like Iliad Kipchoge, Haley Geber Selassie of Ethiopia, all the top middle to long distance runners, if you tested them on a VO, if they did a VO2 max test or if they went out and did a repeat miles on the track or repeat 400 meters on the track and then they were they got their blood lactate levels. When I was in college, we would do that. Coach Hazen, my collegiate coach at Malone College, we would do repeat miles and then after each mile that we did, each mile rep, we would have our fingers pricked and our blood lactate levels tested. 
okay? The lower, the, the top runners, once they're tested, they have a very low lactate accumulation. And that's one tactic. Now, there are some runners out there that can still run phenomenal times uh, that do produce a higher amount of lactic acid buildup when running at very fast paces versus the, and then there's other runners that do produce very minimal amounts of lactic acid when they're running at very high intensities. Every athlete's body is different, but again, tempo running is running at slightly below lactate threshold intensity. So tempo run should feel comfortably hard as well as a lactate threshold run, but a lactic, lactate threshold run or anaerobic threshold running is going to be even more of a challenge. It's going to be comfortably hard, but it's slightly more intense. So both of these types of runs, although a lot of times we do say tempo runs, anaerobic threshold runs are exactly the same, they're not, they're not necessarily exactly the same. A tempo run is slightly below threshold effort, whereas a lactate threshold run i.e. anaerobic threshold run is running closer to around 90 to slightly above 90 percent of your maximum heart rate so yes it is comfortably hard but it is going to be even more taxing on the athlete to go out there and do a threshold run versus a tempo run a tempo run you still could do a tempo run depending on your fitness level for a, several miles several kilometers whereas a lactate threshold run will be a much more physiological and mental task versus a tempo run, okay? So I hope this answers the question between the difference between a tempo run versus threshold running. If there's any other questions I can help you all out with, feel free to leave me a comment below this video. Definitely check out the resources as well. Below all my videos are there to help you out, help you get to the next level in your training and racing. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button and the bell icon so when I make a new video, you'll be notified of it. And if there's anything else I can help you all out with, you have a question regarding racing, training, mindset, any other topic, feel free to reach out to me. I'll definitely respond back to you. So I wish you all the best in your training and racing, and I will talk to you all in the next video.